Hey everyone, this is Teddy Petru, and I'm going to be doing the Advent of Code 2022 with Pandas. So if you're unfamiliar with the Advent of Code, it is a series of problems that are released every day for the 25 days before Christmas. Two problems are released every day. You can find them at adventofcode.com. So it's put together by a man named Eric Wassel. This is problem one that you'll see after you create an account. So these are challenging and interesting, fun problems um, that need a, some sort of programming language to complete. Um, you don't have to use Pandas. In fact, Pandas is probably not the best tool for this, but I'm gonna choose to use Pandas because it allows me to showcase some really unique and fun and just kind of weird tricks that you can do with the Pandas data analysis library in Python. All right, so the way I'm gonna answer these problems is by, not by reading the whole story to you, but by distilling the story into its most you know critical component and then just answering that question. So there are there is an entire story that goes along with the advent of code, it's pretty fun, but um, just so that we can get to the actual code, I'm going to just you know try to boil it down to as few lines as possible. All right, so each day there's some data that is released with the question and I have just saved the data in a little text file over here that I will read in. Here is just a helper function that will allow me to display the data to you instead of just going to that raw file and opening it up. All right, so let me just display this data. So this is the first part of the today's question. There's two parts to every question. It says find the max total in a group. The groups are separated by a blank line. So here's group one, here's group two. We wanna find, first of all, we wanna total each group and then find the maximum group. All right, so to read this in in pandas, this there's you have to set header equals none in your read CSV. Um, there is no header, just means there's no columns or else it'll just use that first line as the column. And you must set this parameter skip blank lines to false. By default, this is true. So it will actually read this in as a missing piece of data. This is a data frame method called squeeze, which will just turn it into a series. This is just one column of data, so it makes it a little bit easier to use. So here is the data in, now we have it in a pandas series, and you see it's kept these NANs. All right, so how do we group these together? All right, how do we say this is one group, this is another group? Well, the idea is to use this is NA method. So let me just show you that real quick. And I will, <clears throat> so whether or not this is missing, so you can see here false all the way till the true, this is another group and so forth. And then I can chain the cumulative sum method, which will accumulate the sums. False is considered zero, true is considered one. So it's just gonna go vertical like this and we'll pick up the groups like that. So it's accumulating the sum. That's what I've done here. And just the same code right here. So you can see here, that's how, so this is sort of a, a really neat trick in order to get the groups in pandas. And then I can just use the group by method and group each one of these. Um, it'll, it'll use this as the grouping, right? And then I'll sum up each of those groups. All right, so let me go ahead and run this. So this is saying this total right here is 55,224. This total right here is group one, and that is the next one like that. <clears throat> so NANs are just you know discarded, they're not used uh, in the sum, so we can be sure that you know that's what that total is. Now that we have all the group totals, all we have to do is find the maximum of the group, and we get this, and that was the right answer. All right, let's go on. So the next one is just to sum up the largest three. Um, so we're gonna just find the largest three with n largest and then just sum those up so I can comment this out first. So here are the three largest groups with n largest and then I sum that up and I get the total like that. So that was the answer to day 1B. All right, so if you like this tip, if you really wanna learn pandas very well, I've written a, an extremely comprehensive book called Master Data Analysis with Python that you'll enjoy. 
Um, there's over 500 exercises for you to practice. There's video lessons, and I do have some certification exams for, for you to really verify that you actually have internalized this material. All right, so that's it for day one, Advent of Code 2022 with Pandas.